Welcome back to Cuban with a Twist. Today we're making picadillo. Uh, we're going to serve it with some tostones, which we're also going to be making, and some fresh avocado. I started off with a pound of the sirloin grounded, and then I added a quarter pound of the 80-20 ground beef. That's just to add a little bit more moisture. Uh, you don't want it to be so dry when you're making picadillo. Okay, we're going to season it with the landers. Cover that nicely. A little bit of olive oil. Drizzle that. And then you just want to mix it in nicely. Okay. Put that separate. We're going to cover it and we're going to chill it for about an hour or so. Okay. Picadillo is a little bit of a process. Okay, we have some red potatoes, which I've chopped up into, you know, little quarter of an inch, inch size potatoes. We're going to put that in the boiler so it can start softening up. You don't want it to get too soft. But just enough that when we put it in the frying pan with the ground beef, it's just getting the season. I'm going to cut a little bit more. Nice pieces. I like to leave the skin on. It's a much healthier choice, but that is to your discretion. That's what makes it the twist. Okay. Separate here, I have some cherry tomatoes that have been sliced up just in half. A sweet onion, four cloves of garlic, and an orange pepper. You can use a green pepper with this dish. You can use a red pepper with this dish. Today we're going to try the orange pepper. And then I'm going to saute in our frying pan as soon as it warms up. We're going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. We've got the red potatoes boiling here at a high temperature. And then now we're just going to saute our onion and our peppers and tomato. Add it when the pot is hot, but not so hot that it burns the, the vegetables. That's not what you're looking for. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of sea salt. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of sweet paprika. Okay. Tiny bit of brown sugar. Maybe about one little spoonful. Okay, we're back now. The tomatoes are nicely cooked. The onions are nice and translucent. This is the, the look that you need. Now we're going to add the beef. You just want to mix it all together. And all you can see is the, the, the colors combining, the smells, it's just it's fantastic. Now this is something you want to be stirring frequently because you don't want the meat to clump together like meatballs. So I would say probably every two minutes or so you just want to turn it 
Make sure to keep everything nice and loose. And this should cook for about 25 minutes. Our potatoes are ready now, so we're going to go ahead and drain them and add them to the ground beef. Try to get as much of the water out. You don't want to drown the beef with water. And then drain it and add it. Drain. And you want the potatoes to be soft, but not so soft that they fall apart. Because you want them to keep their same shape. And you want to mix it into your ground beef. One more little group of potatoes. Try to have it so that the, the meat is covering the potatoes. A little bit of black pepper. And now we're going to lower the temperature to about a four. Uh, we just want it to simmer. Maybe three and a half, four, depending on the strength of your stove. And then we'll let that simmer. And then we'll start on our tostones. Okay, well while the food is simmering, we're going to make some homemade tostones. You're going to start off with the green banana. The greener the better. The blacker, the sweeter. Okay, so we're going to start with the green ones. Cut the tips off. You can take the little plastic off. And we're going to cut them in about an inch to an inch and a half slices. Just like that. Now these can be bought frozen. Uh, Goya makes them. Uh, they're pretty good. But you know, fresher is always better. So today we're going to make them fresh. Now that I've sliced them in the little, little round slices, in the back I've put a pan at about a six and a half. Uh, I want it to be hot but not so hot that it, it starts uh, shooting out oil when I put the, the plantains in, okay? Now that you have these sliced, you're gonna have to take the, the skin off, or la cascara. And how we do that is by taking a knife as gently as you can and going around. There you go. That's what you're left with, okay? As you can see, you don't get very many from uh, a plantain. So you want to buy uh, at least two or three. And that way you can have a, enough for all of your family members. Now that I've sliced them, I'm going to go ahead and place them in the oil. <laughs> you didn't get that ready? Okay. I'm going to have to edit that one out. You can see that the oil is more than halfway. Okay. I'm going to lower it down a little bit because I don't want them to cook too fast. There I'm going to get my tongs and I'm going to use those to flip them over. Which would probably be the easiest and the safest. And as you can see, they're already getting golden brown. If they're getting too dark too fast, you want to lower your heat.
which we've already done, we reduced it to a 4.5. Okay. This is a two-part process. First we fry it on both sides. We're going to take a little napkin to pick up the extra oil. You see both sides are cooked. We're going to come right over here. The easiest way to do this is to buy one of these. It's, uh, it's actually made to make tostones. You can purchase this in any uh, Hispanic or Latin grocery store. Or you can also go to maybe like a Crate and Barrel. Uh, maybe even uh, Bed Bath & Beyond might have it. Okay, so we're going to take our first banana. We're going to place it in there. And we're going to press down on it. Okay, it smushes it just like that. We're going to take that out and we're going to put it on the side. We're going to do all of them at once so that they don't overcook. Try to slide them off. Place them to the side. go. Whatever extra comes off, you can just toss that to the side. What you want is the disc. Okay. Now it's a nice one. We're going to take the, the four that we have and we're going to place them in the frying pan. I'm going to place them now back in the fryer. And this is just going to be like a minute or two. You really want to watch this. You don't want to leave it too long. You just want them to be crispy on both sides. You can see. That's your first one. As soon as they come out of the oil, just them with a little bit of salt to your taste. And those are your homemade tostones. I've served it with some white rice. I'm slicing up some avocado. So thin slices. Okay, I'm going to use a spoon to roll it out. Take it. I'm going to plate it in the middle. A little drizzle of olive oil. Salt. A little bit of pepper. And two tostones. This is your picadillo with aguacate and fresh tostones. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please uh, follow us on Cuban with a Twist on Twitter and also on Facebook. Thank you and have a great day.